hello india so we are here with yet another episode of uh, campus credit talk presented by ntab and today we are joined by jyoti arora ma'am she is the principal at mount abu public school governing body member at central board of secondary education hold on that is not the end now she is also the proud recipient of cbsc principal national award cbsc mentor award to the principals state teachers awarding we are highly honored to have you today thank you very much so this uh, first the first question that i will start with is do you remember the first time you thought of becoming a teacher what was that moment i'll be very honest with you i never wanted to be a teacher really i really never wanted to be a teacher i appeared in my entrance examination to get admission in uh, medicines which i couldn't clear unfortunately and uh, then it was all by chance that i was uh, uh, motivated to be into this profession and but i still remember my first day surrounded by children with the love and affections i think that was the day that finally i decided to be in this profession of teaching wow so when like you enter the school you saw the children then you decided or you were already into teaching then no, no, no. when i joined the school okay on the very first day though i was not very happy that very day because i always wanted to be a doctor so the minute i stepped in and then i was i uh, felt the love and affections of the children around the warmth around there was the day the very first day and the final day for me to take a final decision that yes this is my ultimate destination i want to be here and everything changed everything changed so this is where it all started a school some kids love affection and the journey began oh yes now what is evolved from that day when you see that you enter the school kids are roaming around you fall in love and today heading one of the most prestigious school in the country what has evolved in see as i told you the first day of mine in a school uh, surrounded by children and then i was fighting with my own emotions do you really want to be in this profession though i was appointed as a teacher that day and with computer all, science teacher computer science teacher and but that was that was the day i finally decided and um, that day only i decided now say this is my aim final destination i i want i wanted this only in my life so let's give our 100% so there was a day i promised myself to be committed to this profession to be committed to my responsibilities as a teacher to my duties as mm. a teacher and what exactly i want to see in my children in my custody wherever i work and uh, what uh, what should be my role as a teacher not only in this school in the society so i think there was the day i started my journey with all hard work with all passion with all engagement and involvement and i never looked back i think that is something which evolved out of all this journey and i'm still enjoying each and every day each and every moment in the in the school with my kids around i really enjoy especially i think being a teacher uh, the most satisfying thing is you see the change in front of your eyes oh yes this is what i'm saying though i am heading the school and there is hardly any chance to visit the classrooms i'll mm. be very honest again but whenever i feel like i'm totally fed up with my office work back to back notifications back to back there's a variety of work on the table you yeah, know yeah. the minute i feel that i'm completely fed up with this routine work i love visiting a classroom especially of small children i okay. spend time with them i look at their beautiful shining eyes i love their smiles i i love interacting with them and that makes me totally refreshed and i am back to my work back so that's a, that's that's my way of refreshing myself hey, do, uh, how often do you do that once Maybe, in a week uh, no twice or thrice in a week wow uh, and when you enter the class uh, what do you see the first thing you see the glittering eyes yeah, yes of course especially in the junior classes you know seniors they have their own way of uh, handling the principal of the school <laughs> but juniors no doubt they love um, uh, seeing the principal 
in the classroom and then they start they are full of innocence you know happen? they, they have to do hope. nothing with that she's the principal or the teacher or, but they are full of love yes they they come they hug and then they start talking in their own way uh, they start expressing their own happiness whatever is working well some of them will show me ma'am look at i have just drawn this how is it is it good if this is the lunch time they'll simply offer their lunch box ma'am please do share with us so this is a something which is very uh, unique in children especially and which you everybody loves and that's uh, the best moment i think in the school for me being with the kids wow so now are you currently working into any particular project which you are pursuing very very wholeheartedly See, I told you very honestly that whatever I do, I do it wholeheartedly. Yeah. I'm very, very clear. If I choose a, a something to do, I do it with all my passion, with all my personal involvement, and with all my love. So there are so many projects, not even one project. There are so many things which we are doing in the school. Uh, community services is very, very close to my heart. What kind of community That's why services? We have lots of projects under community services. Our... Uh, project which we term as ek aas ek prayas ek aas ek aas ek prayas ek prayas uh per month we have a lead team for this project okay lead team of around 10 to 15 students mm -hmm. they will decide an item okay. to to be collected from the children okay they will make a notification they will announce in the uh, in the school that for this month we would like to donate this for this reason like okay. this is a cute winter time going on mm -hmm. so recently they collected a woolen clothes and uh, one pair of socks mm. new new mm. a pair of socks and then the lead team only decides what do we need to collect during summers they collected ek mutthi dal ek mutthi chawal and then okay. they collected and then they made packets and those packets were distributed in the slum areas so this is one such project wherein uh, they decide what exactly do they want to donate to the society though this is not a compulsory kind of contribution mm -hmm. but the way we are getting the response it mm -hmm. gives me immense satisfaction that we are mm -hmm. moving in the right direction so in addition to that we have adopted a monument in Shalimar Park uh, that's okay. uh, that's a very old monument, um, Shish Mahal. Ah, people hardly yeah. know. People hardly know I about know, it. Know. So I was the only to approach media to highlight this uh, oldest monument. This uh, was, uh, you know, the coronation ceremony of Aurangzeb happened here. Nobody knows about it. And there is a small Shish tunnel. Mahal. Yes, Shish Mahal. There is a small tunnel which uh, joins the tunnel to the outer ring road, which opens at uh, uh, bypass. Wow. So that was the way which the Mughals used to escape themselves from yeah. them. And it's uh, uh, surrounded by beautiful parks and fountains yeah, yeah, and yeah. so many things. So we have taken up the, uh, uh, the, restoration. The, 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 the restoration, you may say. Though there is not much scope to do it, but our, our children, they regularly visit this monument. They will clean the areas around they will conduct okay. certain activities over there the awareness camps they will hold there just to make the uh, vicinity people around uh, aware and from about which standard it starts six onwards they go okay six onwards they go. then we have adopted a park very close to our school they okay. go, go for the maintenance of there that are a lot park. Of community and services. So many community services. We have, like, just now I was looking at the 3D module content of your mm. uh, the, this company and tape. We also have uh, a 3D module content bus, one bus which is left with just mm. one uh, one year more. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, this uh, that bus is going to expire after okay. one year. So we have converted that bus into this 3D modules uh, okay. uh, mobile bus. And this bus uh, goes to uh, a slum area on every Saturday. Okay. And children there, they feel very excited to see this kind of content, you know. Something wow. which is which is uh, uh, up to their level of understanding. We carry those kind of things like modules related to their personal hygiene, modules related to uh, understand their body parts, modules related to know the relationship. These kind of projects, we choose okay, what kind of modules do we need to show them. From so, where do you get this ideas of uh, you know executing this kind of ideas in uh, community services I, said, I told you i'm 100% wow. involved into this 
I feel like now I am meant for children only and my and complete role is to do and give my best to the society. Rest God is always there to help me. I'm sure. And, <laughs> and he is there with me. And what about the technological, you know, changes that we you are? We are very, are... very advanced, you know. Uh, us, this is the second time that we have been bestowed upon the title of Microsoft to showcase yeah. school which comes from Microsoft and that comes out of lots of audit okay. uh, uh, in terms of technology being used mm -hmm. in the system. So um, we uh, all our teachers are techno savvy number mm -hmm. one and uh, it's been two years that we are working upon making the school paperless school because okay. all communication most of the communication happens mm -hmm. through online. Mm -hmm. We are using a, uh, an ERP system also to connect, to get connect with the parents, mm. just to save on papers and yeah. uh, be very see. fast on our communication. And um, all our lesson plans, all our uh, assessment mm. and uh, uh, assessment card, everything mm. happens on online. And there are many things that we are using to be at par with the technology in the market because uh, we really understand the importance of uh, uh, this 21st century, we, we, we understand the requirements of the 21st century Absolutely. learners. The whole and thing, gamble has changed. Oh yes, so we try to create that kind of environment wherein they feel comfortable with the technology and they get advanced with the technology. I'm sure under your leadership so many things mm -hmm. have been done. To come with some, that's... Um, a Mount Abu Public School is now accredited with a Global Research for Excellence in Education, Singapore. Oh, yes. A school got the Certificate of Achievement by Education Today for being India's top CBS school under your leadership. The school got the Quality in Education Jury's Choice Award for imparting quality education in school. Now that I know the community mm -hmm. services, I'm <laughs> sure what is being done. Uh, it's also the proud recipient of the award of the Institution of the Year 2017-18 for its academic and educational excellence by Silver Zone Foundation. The recent one, if I talk about, proud recipient of International School Award from 2006 to 19 by British Council. Yes, so this is the, this the third time we have got this yes. title from British Council and I'll be very happy to share with you uh, another important news very uh, I'm very excited after this news which uh, came to me yesterday only oh, that this is the fourth time that we are the winner of a global la global label competition. It's a competition uh, by a school enterprise challenge wherein they give you, you have to float a business idea and you have to entrepreneurship. take it entrepreneurship entrepreneurship so uh, i'm very proud of my all young entrepreneurs uh, and and my entire team the way they are working this is the first fourth time that our efforts have been recognized by this international platform you know all countries in the world they participate in this competition and where it is being held it's a, it's under british council only oh, wow school and enterprise uh, challenge Mount of uh, school so, has just called uh, the it's, it's called buddy in initiative buddy, buddy initiative projects wherein we uh, closely work with one more school and when oh, wow. then we grow together with our business ideas and we multiply what was the, idea the business about? profit it was all about uh, creating herbal uh, uh, gift kit oh. having all herbal things inside Wow. Having a small sapling of tulsi, having herbal chocolates made up of mint and all that. Wow. Then, then these kind of things were there and all together a kit was made and which uh, our children usually they, uh, they uh, sell on the day of PTNs and oh, other really? things. Huh? And they are making profits and then this profit is further being multiplied into another business idea. It goes wow. like this. <laughs> That's that's amazing. Oh, Entrepreneurship yes. ideas being oh, yes. so well nurtured. So, that's... It's been uh, I think five years now. My children wow. have grown up very well. These and which classes particularly participate in? Sixth onwards, six oh, to tenth. Six to uh, tenth. There are few students from class eleventh as well. It's a team of around 50, 60 children. I would they, love they, to they meet. They meet twice in a year or twice in a month. Sorry, they meet. And then they uh, share their business ideas, then they uh, uh, debate on how to multiply the profits and where the profit will go, how to mul uh, uh, manage multiply the, the 
managing the profits there so many things and then uh, more and ideas to self dependent you. now now they don't need any kind and of and the seniors them. take care of the juniors oh yes oh yes they are grooming the juniors <laughs> so as a principal what are the changes uh, if you look back mm. now your whole journey as a principal what are three or four changes you have brought many changes but what are the crucial changes under your leadership which when you look back give you immense satisfaction that these are the three four changes mm. that mm. like the 80 20 principle mm. uh, you know that uh, the mm. four or five decision made the 80% of the results mm. <laughs> i would say uh, addition of infrastructure and facilities time to time Okay. is one thing which gives me immense satisfaction the minute i feel that this is the requirement mm. of the children we start working on to addition of that like any decent like, thing i I'll, i'll tell you two years back when we <clears throat> got this uh, atal tinkering lab from niti yeah. ayog so there was a time i thought because i could see uh, though there were very few in number but few children were showing their interest to know mm. more about space mm-hmm. and uh, and i think we were we are the first one in delhi to open this astronomy lab in a school mm-hmm. so that the, the lab was created and it was set up and children started exposing to the labs initially when we started the lab two years back there were around only 9 to 10 children mm-hmm. and now we have uh, more than 100 children exposed to the wow. lab so this is one just one example mm-hmm. okay, uh, uh, updating infrastructure and facilities as per the requirement of the children is something mm-hmm. which gives me Absolutely. lots of satisfaction that i understand the needs of my children and accordingly i'm able to provide the infrastructure second is uh, uh, intense use of technology in the school children mm-hmm. are very confident to use technology they are safe the also the teachers also teachers the entire system like this uh, title was awarded only after looking at the uses of the technology in wow. the school so technology is flowing in all the corners of the school mm-hmm. and then uh, um i'm very passionate about uh, bringing lots of opportunities for children to feel fit and active mm-hmm. so addition of lot many games mm-hmm. time to time and then addition of fitness activities time mm-hmm. to time i feel that's the dire need of the time children really need Absolutely. to be very active and smart and confident mm-hmm. uh, because you look at the success story of any successful person the person was very active and fit absolutely so that's very important that physical fitness should be taken care of so there also we have added beautiful uh, play fields and beautiful courts for them to play and uh, to grow with and then uh, life skills no doubt is the utmost importance in a school system and we have been working through various ways to uh, give or create opportunities mm. for children can you throw some in. light on what kind of life skills what are the activities that you do to give the best of life skills practices to the students mm. see we have special assemblies mm. our assembly is entirely different these are thematic assemblies thematic thematic assemblies thematic assemblies okay. because life skill is not just something which can be taught using a mm. book or mm, or some notes this has to be practiced mm. so we do it through this and then we have many kind of uh, uh, opportunities created we have a beautiful kit which we use for talking about life skills i won't use teaching of life skills mm. to my understanding life skills can never be taught it it has to be demonstrated then um, like uh, every classroom is well equipped with a smart board and we bring some or other thing uh, which connects them to life skills through those modules during the lunch time and they are having mm. their lunch they have 25 minutes so that is another mm. way of and then there are so many other ways of dealing with the life skills in the children because it's very important I absolutely i moved mm-hmm. <laughs> so what sort of it based solutions currently being adopted by your school is there any particular it based uh, technology based uh, app yes, or anything yes we have uh, we we have been using apps we have mm-hmm. been using erps and then uh, we have this microsoft uh, this entire yeah. system is also Uh, and in addition to that uh, uh, having workshops and special seminars on cyber safety 
Oh, oh yes, that's very yes. nice. Then we have an our annual event, Map Tech, wherein we invite children from our neighboring schools. Hmm. We design lots of activities. Map as Tech. A, Map Tech. Map okay. Tech. All all activities are related to technology only. Wow. We invite children from the uh, neighboring area to participate in these activities. Just to do they surprise you sometimes with new technologies? Like, oh yes, wow. oh yes. Oh, I'm very oh, amazed oh. to see the way children work. Sometimes ah. the children manage the stage and the digital stage area. Ah. Uh, it's really amazing to see how much exposed are they to technology. Any particular and idea that is stuck into your mind? Like wow, I felt such a small ah. kid, but great innovation. Huh, using the subtle tinkering lab they are coming up because the mm. objective of this tinkering lab is to give them a platform to tinker, to think, to innovate mm -hmm. and to research. Mm -hmm. And recently I remember a, a student of class 7th or 8th uh, is was working on some solution how to uh, uh, water the plants when mm. when we the family is away on a okay. long uh, summer break or winter break when the family is away from the home who will take care of the plants okay. so he he designed uh, he worked upon an idea then he designed something which automatically waters the plants and for a month time you can leave the plant onto that uh, that small kind of uh, the instrument what he has made yeah. and the automatically the water will be run so see as an educator I feel our job is to create platforms for oh. them to learn and grow yes. to innovate to think to uh, analyze so that that exactly what we are doing but that's so Otherwise, nice to see uh, that young uh, kids are thinking about plants you know, they are full of ideas. The best of the best energy is flowing in this young generation. It's a very focused generation. Very clear in their thoughts. Absolutely. Not at all confused. Mm. The only thing needed is to give them a platform. And that is what I think is our role as a teacher or as an educator. To create platforms for them. And then giving them a push. A slight push. And then sporting them, hand holding them if needed. Yeah. If needed. This is what we exactly are doing. But this is the, you know, uh, break line, if needed. If because, needed. Ma because many of if them needed. don't need. Because ultimately, uh, if a child is growing independently yeah. and growing well, we are there to supervise. We are observing the child. The child yeah. is growing in the right direction. Mm -hmm. It's fine. The child mm -hmm. is growing in the right direction. But if independent growth happens, that is to in a right direction. Mm -hmm. What else can give you the satisfaction? Absolutely. Mm. There's no doubt in it. Mm. Now, tell us some of the methodologies of your school that is uh, like it uses the best of practices to train the teachers. Because I believe all the percolation of the technology and the new changes, it will happen only when the teachers are able to percolate down into the kids. So what methodologies you follow? I know. Actually, uh, teachers, if we really want the change to happen in the classrooms, mm -hmm. the change should happen. That starts that the change starts from the teacher itself. Mm -hmm. So, teacher is the major uh, component mm -hmm. in the school system because mm -hmm. she is the one who he is the one who has to take it forward Absolutely. in the class. So, we create all best opportunity for teachers to learn, grow, and take it forward to the classrooms we are full of workshops we are full of uh, conferences we don't leave any chance because we have many uh, many type of capacity building programs for our teachers okay. through which they learn and grow further okay. and because with the advancement of technology the things are changing very fast and the, the, to keep that pace with the changing technology changing scenario yes, changing attitude of children changing uh, uh, lifestyle of uh, uh, our, our children, they really need to understand their needs first of all, then Absolutely. only the medicine can be given. So to understand that need, again, we, we sit together, mm -hmm. we get into lots many lot of discussions mm -hmm. and then uh, regular meetings no doubt mm -hmm. happen. Mm -hmm. But in addition to that, the peer teaching mm -hmm. happens in the school wherein mm -hmm. 
one teacher yes. who is very good in te- dealing with one particular topic uh-huh. will teach in front of all other parallel uh-huh. teachers just to know what works very well with the children just to and then i guess you also do the butterfly system oh yes uh, yeah. butterfly is another yeah. best practice what the school has been uh, what is it can you give a bit brief idea about it butterfly like uh, we record some of the lessons uh-huh. some of the topics of the teachers and then we share it with the parents uh, okay. with the students at home they can uh, simply if the child has missed uh-huh. out any lesson uh-huh. due to any reasons uh-huh. the child has an opportunity to see that to 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 watch that video mm-hmm. to understand what has what was done in his absence mm-hmm. and then um, in case if we want to revise the same mm-hmm. topic then again it helps us Absolutely. a lot and um, then we have the, this uh, uh, peer teaching peer teaching also wherein any student of the class can come forward to revise the chapter yeah. revision happens through children only absolutely so teacher will just give the guidance to the mm-hmm. child this, this is the lesson which has to be revised tomorrow mm-hmm. this is the topic what you have to mm-hmm. prepare tomorrow and you will have to take the revision so teacher will simply sit at the back just to see that the revision is happening in the right direction and covering all the important aspects of revision and children they come forward they only revise then children are into sometimes peer checking also mm-hmm. the first time checking happens by a by a peer student mm-hmm. and then it goes to the teacher that lines oh, wow. up the work of the teacher Absolutely. and 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 while doing the correction Does it children... happen often in the school oh yes this it's a routine practice okay it's a routine practice so this also we do not burden the children oh, wow. but if they feel but now that they have started taking interest into this okay they feel like give me 10 copies i'll do so the final wow. checking happens by the teacher okay but the first checking happens by a peer student of the class and that way they learn also yes yes they learn also and it's revision, sort of revision yeah, also yeah. it's a sort of revision also and the teacher is also feeling light this is a great idea i think many yeah. school can adopt that yes i always share, i always share with all my friends yeah i think this because platform through this platform uh, the whole uh, country can uh, see um, take the idea oh, and yes. it's a very workable model it's a very and very workable yeah. model children they take interest in doing this you know Absolutely. and you can um, uh, you can develop that confidence and leadership kind of quality Absolutely. also and Absolutely. finally they they start taking interest in um, choosing teaching as a profession or career otherwise it's a very painful situation in our country children they don't want to opt this profession yes so in this way at least they come to know okay this is also very interesting because this, perhaps you know this can also lead to the fact that the change that they are making they can see it instantly okay they I, themselves are the change makers yes they understand their importance in the system and they understand how important and how difficult is it uh, the teaching you have been so, instrumental into it oh yes so, so we have uh, these kind of practices going on in the school i'm getting more um, <laughs> okay today a focus on nurturing life skills has also emerged as a key thrust area for institutions how is mount abu school working in this particular direction i have already I just asked you about i just spoke about again we create uh, different different uh, opportunities for the children and um, uh, any particular about, model that you are using and you want the other schools to also look into it and it has been successfully implemented in the school for life skills yeah because I see you're a bundle of ideas that you are implementing. I, I told you that our thematic assemblies are very, very powerful. Entire assembly will revolve around that particular idea. Okay. Fine. Suppose if you are taking one life skill, any anyone. So the entire assembly will revolve around that idea only. Or talk will happen related to that. The child will compose a poem related to that. The child will write a speech related to that. Okay. The child will demonstrate something in the form of a nukkar or mm-hmm. street play. The child may uh, come up with a song also. Mm-hmm. So and and linked videos also we show them in the morning okay. assembly. We have a big size. Of, LED screen at the back where the mm. assembly happens. Mm. So we show them the related videos also. Mm. So I think uh, this, is, thematic, this is just uh, one idea which is really working very effectively. And uh, how often it happens in the school? Twice in a week. Twice in a week. Mm. And are there classes allotted that this classes will perform? Oh yes, this? every time a different class has to perform. 
and the hundred percent participation. Hundred percent participation. Whoever is present has to be in the assembly. Okay, from that particular class. No, 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 no. The entire slot. Okay. Like our assembly happens in three slots: primary, uh, okay. secondary, and okay. senior secondary. Mm. So okay. at every level, these are planned in a different way. Okay, so you know, I see you as a not only a bundle of ideas, but also a person who. make sure that the idea is implicable and percolates down to each and every one who is related to it and certainly you must have some kind of you know advices that you want to give to your uh, teachers students and parents as we start with what is the one advice in today's generation uh, the uh, the young lot young blood who wants to take teaching what is the one advice you want to give them that they should at the to it no doubt practicality of any idea is very important yes. and the unless we see the practicality before we implement mm. then all your ideas are paint mm. so as a message i think the passion the involvement the hard work there's no shortcut to success mm. if we really want to be successful in any any field wherever we want to achieve mm. we need to be first of all very passionate about it then we need to get involved into that and then hard work is certainly needed that's the main component of any for any kind of success so all together will make you a successful person so committed to your no um, work okay. whatever you are doing in your life mm. commitment to your work uh, and then sincerity mm. and honesty i tell my children there is no one at home to check you what time table are you following this is you only who has to make a time table for yourself this is you only who has to implement this is you only who has to take a check on mm. to keep a check on that idea so that's very important self discipline in life is also very very important so i think if teachers themselves because teachers are always considered to be the role model in the society when it comes to teacher it's a very common statement teachers are the role model that we really need to demonstrate whatever we need yeah. to get out of our children until unless we demonstrate we can't even think of getting out of our children we want our children to be lover of nature and there is no greenery around you cannot think of your children to become nature lovers so you really need to create that kind of environment whatever you want to see absolutely. be the change you want to see in absolutely. in the world that's absolutely. very important yeah no, i i see uh, do you, uh, like correct me if i'm wrong but um i see there are less inspired teachers around mm. me mm. those who are already going to school ne ab to man nahi karta this and that mm. so if there are less inspired teachers mm-hmm. then how they can inspire kids first mm-hmm. but there must be a way also mm-hmm. that you know teachers can be inspired mm-hmm. how do you think that teachers can be inspired so here comes the leader's job mm-hmm. when we know we are dealing with variety of minds mm-hmm. when we know we are dealing with variety of attitudes we need to understand there is always something very very positive and unique in every person mm-hmm. and that's the 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 point where we need to hit so we need to take out the best out of the person how every, do you do that see understanding a person is very important um, every year before we begin with the new session mm-hmm. i announce an agenda for the session okay so for this ongoing session mm-hmm. which is 2019 uh, 2020 mm-hmm. it was a very clear announcement before we started with this session mm-hmm. that agenda for this session will be know your child like okay. bank people ask you to know your account mm-hmm. to make you more familiar and to make you more uh, uh, aware about what exactly mm. happens in the bank they ask you to provide certain information absolutely same way we want to know our child if we really want to take out the best out of our child and mm. unless we know a child what are the strengths of this child what are the weaknesses of this child a child may be very very good in painting but maybe he is not getting the opportunity to prove absolutely so we really need to know our child we have variety of clubs in the school we have 27 clubs oh, wow. running in the school child is free to choose a club as per the aptitude i am good at painting i want to go in the painting club i want to learn more about astronomy i'll choose space club mm-hmm. astronomy club so this way 
uh, they have uh, uh, options to choose as per their aptitude and why do we create these options because we want to know the child mm. and once we know the child then it becomes easy for any system to work work upon that particular area mm -hmm. because ultimately we want the child to succeed in that particular direction so <clears throat> one of our child is a member of indian cricket team now wow. yes indian 2020 team he played in uh, 2020 also you know when he was in class four he was there i still remember the day he was there uh, uh, with his father in my mm -hmm. office and uh, our manager sir was also there and father uh, as a usual father started mm -hmm. complaining he never sits at home all the time he's seen in the park playing with bat mm -hmm. and ball when will he study this and that that was mm -hmm. the right time to recognize the child and that was the right time to guide the parent okay if he is taking too much interest in playing mm -hmm. cricket why don't you um, uh, ask him to join an academy okay and he, he should join an evening academy mm -hmm. and let the child grow with uh, those skills your child is good in that means cricket when you yourself is saying that he plays very well let him join a, an academy so that child grow, joined the academy he studied with me till his class 12 he was with me okay. growing with the cricket and average in studies but uh, in cricket he was doing wonders wonders so uh, that's that's uh, the way we we need to find out our teachers as well less passionate Absolutely. teachers less inspiring teachers less motivated teachers mm. we need to work upon that and that is what we do and there's so many ways to motivate I'm a teacher sure. I'm sure first of all can. they should take interest in coming to the school and uh, doing something for the children absolutely so now we are going to play the game we we're talking okay. about so there are two glasses of water here mm -hmm. that i'll be keeping for you mm -hmm. So the game is never have I ever. Okay. Okay. So if you don't agree, like uh, for example, if I say uh, never have I ever uh, had a cup of tea. So if you had a cup of tea, you will sip, mm -hmm. sip the water because I also feel the guest should be hydrated all the time. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you will um, take a sip. So let's start first. So, um, you have to hold. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, never have I ever made a duck face when taking a selfie. Like, there's a yeah. pout pout. <laughs> okay. You have never. I have. You have? Uh, so Same here. I have. to be dropped? Mm -hmm. I have done absolutely okay. fine. Okay. So, the, like, the first time when you did it, didn't, uh, you were conscious about it? Oh, yes. <laughs> My daughter made me to do it. <laughs> so to act I is still can't do it. <laughs> I stop. Same here, same here. I, I tried twice, thrice, but I can't do it. I can't hold it much. <laughs> what girls do these days? Girls do all the time. <laughs> okay. Never have I ever re-read an email immediately after sending it. कि कहीं गलत तो नहीं सेंड कर दी बट पढ़ के देखते हैं नेवर हैव आई एवर आंसर सम वन लेफ्ट और राइट विदाउट इवन थिंकिंग ओके नेवर हैव आई एवर संग अ कराओ के सॉन्ग Like song with no, music. No, I have. You sing oh, songs. No, no, no. Really, which was one? Uh, which was your first try? Which song? I remember when I was in class uh, six or seventh, maybe, and there was a teachers' day. And you know, usually on the day of teachers' day, your seniors will come, and uh, obviously they won't teach you. They will ask you to perform. some or other kind of activity i think that was my first attempt to sing a song and uh, which was liked by all my friends really? in the class yes do you remember song. which song was that yes i do remember <laughs> i know which one <laughs> it was ye sham masitani acha okay like songs yes of course that's my hobby you listening sing? song sometimes i sing but uh, listening songs is my which hobby. one is your favorite one now song ha uh -huh. 
nowadays you listen or you tune it to more often meri mitti mein mil jaawa dikha ke mein mil jaawa something like this i hardly yeah. remember songs but kesari I kesari movie yeah okay never have i ever felt bad on scolding a child realizing that uh, you know something was wrong mm. the child was doing something wrong you scolded mm. but mm. after that you felt bad about it yeah, happens even you think happens mm. never have i ever fumbled in front of anyone happens even now <laughs> mm. but in front of who <laughs> that's the catch <laughs> camera <laughs> okay really camera <laughs> okay okay never have i ever stayed up all night night all night like you have not slept many a times even now i sleep very less but why lack of sleep it's i think since my childhood i hardly sleep how many hours a day 2 3 maybe 3 and a half or 4 that is okay yes, i can't do it's that okay. it's working as well now let's see <laughs> but that's not good for health that i was I'm losing on my memory i feel like really it's, it's really not good sound sleep is very important to be fit and active what this is the only thing wherein i don't have any control of mine what will you tell exercising me exercising every day i have my control meditation i can but sleep is one area where i'm completely helpless and nothing is working well with you this. know i was seeing a video of sadguru where he uh, said that 2 to 3 hours of good sleep is more than enough for the body if no, it is, is a good sleep that that's uh, that's called yog nidra okay this is what our honorable prime minister does it oh. he takes yog nidra he is hardly having time to sleep Okay. but again there is a technique to undergo that kind of mm. sleep that should be disturbance free and mm. now this you are going to laugh now never have i ever been called by a wrong name <laughs> <laughs> number of times <laughs> every day <laughs> never i am very poor at <laughs> very bad at <laughs> Is someone called your name? Oh yes, uh, yeah. oh yes. Just now you said Alka. <laughs> She's a very good friend to me. <laughs> She was here. I know, uh, I know, I know. Uh, never ever I have uh, called any of the teachers by another name. Oh, many a times. Sumita is Anita for me. Sumitra is Sumati for me. <laughs> How if do I, they react? If I spoil one name, na, I. I'm scared of myself only. I never correct it. If your name is Anita and by mistake if I call you Sunita once, then forever in your life you are Sunita for me. <laughs> so that's why that's very bad with me. <laughs> There are two kids. One is Ishika and one is Ishani. And every time after even three years now, Ishika is Ishani, 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 Ishani is Ishika. Is Ishika. <laughs> so. Okay. never ever i have gone out of the way to help someone always so what is the last help that you did is like maybe you think that you've gone out of your way to help if you want to share of course there are certain things which i feel uh, should remain as a secret only but uh, I told you about community services in mm. my school. So recently, we collected some funds for this Bihar flood, mm. and then like this contributed, mm. and uh, whatever I felt I can do from myself, that was done. And um, the prize money which I received out mm. of all these awards mm. that always goes into uh, relief funds only. I never yeah. keep that prize money with me. during winters every mm-hmm. winter i feel like helping the needy Gives people in full and satisfaction oh yes always yeah. always that's the reason I, i continue doing these kind of work but i know there are many other things which uh, maybe i i i would not like to disclose 
but yeah. there are things for what i do what makes me feel satisfied and and now that this game is over <laughs> you can take a relief <laughs> so any were you a, like a mischievous kid or a very silent one my own kids yeah. no you as a kid silent okay not mischievous no so that goes for the answer my, <laughs> <laughs> my mother keeps on complaining to my children your mother was such a silent kid i don't know for uh, how do you are so aggressive aggressive in the sense they oh. keep making fun oh. of nannies and nani. uh -huh. so they feel like you are entirely different from your mom mm -hmm. <laughs> you're not like your mom <laughs> but today's kids are not silent 90% of the time not. they should not be otherwise oh. also okay so we are coming to the end there are last two questions my favorite which of the skills according to you will dominate the coming decade for the students and they must have it it's a must well versed with technology well versed with technology and and values two things are very important which uh, if i give you a choice technology or values values first of course mm. Do you think there is less values in the kids today? I think that's uh, that's going from the society, which is alarming. Mm. So kids really need to understand the importance of values in life. Value will add value to the, yeah, their life. Yeah. So um, that is one area where I think uh, it's challenging, mm. and we need to work more and more and. Uh, something which invites the attention of each one of us not yeah. only the teachers absolutely mm. now the last what are your thoughts about the initiative that has antap uh, has taken to make sure that all the educators all the bright minds come into one platform speak mm. and the fabulous my sincere compliments i was amazed to see the kind of setup you have created for all this because it's again a platform uh to motivate people further mm. and to get motivated also it's not mm. like so uh it's a wonderful initiative my uh, sincere compliments and uh, this is what i was sharing with the lawrence uh, lawrence at that time that uh, we also keep inviting our uh, alumni those who were mm. but successful in their life to come and share their Absolutely. success stories Absolutely. what did work very well mm. in their life and what did not work at all mm. in spite of all their best efforts just mm. to share uh, to to for for others to know mm. that well, there first of Absolutely. all there is no shortcut to success and what works very well if we it comes from someone else then we also start thinking seriously on those lines mm. so excellent and uh, taking us out of our routine work is another uh, another uh, reason to compliment and tap otherwise till 4 5 o'clock we are stuck into our routine work and giving us also a chance to think and go back how was i when i was a child, a child and uh, then what worked very well in this journey of uh, um, education or so that's fabulous wonderful i think um, like what i'll take from you today is that you have continuously changed yourself uh, for the betterment of the education oh yes continuously evolved the ideas evolved every time you're that's trying. my duty and responsibility yeah. that's really wonderful that's, like that's my you know duty. the last thing i would say if you if you ask from god today to give you one vardan what would that be that you're missing out for quite some time peace and happiness for everyone wow so every day morning i wish this really yeah. you meditate for everyone for everyone i try but i can't it's very difficult for me i can exercise mm -hmm. i do yoga mm -hmm. i go for walk but mm -hmm. meditation i tried number of times i could not succeed okay so oh, my uh, it's here um wish will be that you succeed in this because uh, the next time we That's meet it. over yeah. a period of time maybe 
<laughs> but um, I think I need training to learn meditation. No, trust me, which, we will talk bit. after this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, before it ends, uh, you know, you there's a routine, religious thing we do is okay. take the signature. signature so. A very special feeling. Yes, it's a very special thing very, for us. Very special feeling. That you came, you have given us your time, that will be so dearly intact in our mind. To put the data? Yes, please. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. And it was a pleasure talking to you, ma'am. So yeah. humble, peace. I'm honored. You did a good, great job. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very Thank much. You.